It is a happy Thursday. We are live. We happy are live. Thursday. It seems like forever since we've been here. Maybe we should reintroduce ourselves. Right. People may have forgotten <laughs> who we are. I am Dr. Charlie, the book mama. Stephanie Palmer, the grammar queen. And we're here for a little writer's therapy. So if you are feeling broke down, messed up, and need therapized, we can help you with the book. That's yes, about it. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> pretty much it. That is, yeah. Like there are no long couches in this office. So well, technically there is, but we do not. Oh, yeah, I guess we do have a long couch. Yeah, but it's not really designed for that. <laughs> so, how have you been? I have been great. I feel like I've been running in circles at some point. Uh, right. But had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, so we didn't get to talk, we didn't get to share thankfulness with everybody we last did week. Not. And I thankfulness for our viewers. Anything. No, you she didn't. She let me down, y'all. No cookies. Two weeks I heard all about I'm gonna bring cookies. I'm gonna bring sugar cookies. I'm gonna I'm Do gonna you, don't sound like that. No. <laughs> okay. No, no, she did not no. I was just trying to make it sound worse oh. than it was. Oh, so, oh, oh well, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I did a very good job. Okay. So no, I didn't get any sugar cookies from Stephanie, but I did get, I did get like a sugar coma from all the other stuff in right. my family. See, I knew family. that I knew that you were going to have so many sweets right. that, and I was saving you. The, the My family is very well known for being able to cook and cook good y'all. So um, yeah, we weren't without. So we were very thankful, but you know, we have a lot of other things to be thankful about. Absolutely. What, what are you thankful? Like what comes to mind? Thankful for my family. I'm mm -hmm. thankful for my health. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to help so many authors uh, share their story. Um, I'm just, I'm just thankful. Right. I'm thankful for life. Absolutely. So I, I would like to say that I'm very, um, without going into detail, um, my Thanksgiving was happy and it was also, we had some scary things happen at my house. And so, you know, when you suddenly have medical situations that are scary and things happen, you can really look back and man, I'm really thankful for what I do have. It really right. changes your perspective and you're really able to say, you know, it doesn't matter what the diagnosis was. It doesn't matter what some doctor pronounced over me. I got up this morning and yes. I'm smiling and I can feel how cold it is outside or how wet it is outside or wherever you are, maybe how sunny and beautiful yes. Yes. it is outside. And I don't know where you are, but I might want to join you like right after yeah. the show so immediately after <laughs> anyway so you know there's just a lot to be thankful for absolutely and, and it's all about perspective so we actually do have a show today yes we do before we start um, if anyone uh, we have some viewers on just put in the comments let us know what you are thankful for we would definitely love to would hear be awesome. yes and then tag like share um and let Everyone you know, right every there. day should be Thanksgiving. It absolutely. I don't should. know why we depend on what the pilgrims did like a gazillion years ago. Yeah. Like we should be thankful for something every day. Absolutely. Um, one of our authors, Shay Sparks. Yes. She does that all, all the, the time, time. Yes, on Facebook. Yes, yes. Love that. So if you're listening, Shay, here's a shout out to you. Yes. Always seeking out thankfulness and encouraging others to think about that as well. Yes. Okay. So yeah, but we do want to like and share and uh, we, you know, we just need y'all to need us. So please yes, make us yes. feel better. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, kind of goes into what we're going to talk about today being, that we're needed and yeah, we're being validated, being validated. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, we, you might actually be a therapist. Oh, no, right. look, hey, I'm working on my skills. Right. Okay, look, I'm learning from, okay. I'm learning from this me, be Dr. Charlie. It's going to be a cut up day. Yes. We've been without y'all for weeks. I'm just sitting, I feel, I feel a repetitor chip coming up in me. So that's that holy moly you're drinking. <laughs> I am. I'm drinking this drink called a holy moly. And to keep, to keep it civilized, I had moly put in half the syrup. So anyway, okay. So what are we talking about today? Debunking the myths about being a best-selling author on Amazon. Debunking. There's a yes, word. Yeah. Well, and sharing, sharing and debunking. Yeah, no, I yeah. think it's legit. So anybody who puts in the effort to write a book, 
wants to be a best-selling author, that would be really nice, right? I mean, you put in all that effort, you have the baby and you want the baby to be noticed. That's, that's so legitimate. Great analogy, mom. Thanks. Such a mom <laughs> statement. <laughs> My babies are so super sized at this point. <laughs> I need to borrow somebody else's. I mean, it's so bad, y'all. Okay, so so myths, debunking. What what is your perspective of being a best selling author? What is my perspective? I do not focus on being a best selling author, and I do not encourage anyone to focus on that. I get the That's reasons good. why they would want to, yeah. but I, I just don't see the value and the importance of it. Um, Cause at the end of the day, the book is written like you've, you've accomplished that. So. Okay. Now, well, well Desi Arnaz, uh, I just did it again. You did. You know, you don't know. Okay. I, I know love, the name. I love Lucy. Okay. That yes. That was the husband. Okay. He would say, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Yes. Gotcha. So, okay. If, and I know that was a terrible Desi. It, it was so, so terrible, but I was going to let her make not, it, y'all. Yeah. Don't send okay. us hate mail. I'm just so glad you know who Desi Arnaz was. Yes, You're redeeming okay. yourself. Okay. I need to study like history before I come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you got some explaining to do. Yes. What talk to us about the debunk issue? Well, I, before we go to the de debunk, I want to talk about just some some oh, truths about. Wait. Yes, I'm oh, going to make you wait. Like I really want to. I want to hone in on it because a lot of people are completely confused by what that is. They don't really know how to achieve it, but it's really very achievable. Like it's really easy to get a number one, become a number right. one bestseller. Okay. In the self-published world. Yes. In the self-published world. Yeah. Absolutely. So we should probably, we should probably explain ourselves a yeah. little bit because in traditional publishing, if you become a bestseller, you're on the New York Times bestseller list. And I'm like, hey, double thumbs up. I want your autograph. I think that's fantastic. Love that for you. Very proud of you. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that you, you have to be except proud of yourself, you know, for that situation. But we're talking about becoming a best-selling author in the self-published industry. Yes. So let's, let's uh, just yes. to clarify. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And even then the reason why number one, you know, the, the best sellers for you, New York, it's because they already have a large following. You have your TD Jakes's, you have your Rachel Hollis's, you have all of those people that already have a large following that already have a huge platform. That inevitably is the reason why they are able to become number one bestsellers. It's morphed. Yeah. But I don't think it used yeah. to be that mm -mm, way. It didn't. It, it was and it, it, it is morphed due to digitalization and uh, the, the information age. Right. So not to take away from that Absolutely status, not. but no. again, that's not what we're discussing. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about the truths of the Amazon bestseller list. And I'm just going to go down and, and you can share. Um, Basically, there is no magic number of sales. It's an algorithm, just like so many uh, things on social media. It's about the numbers, not about the sales. What's an algorithm? It's a pattern. Why did you do that to me? It is a <laughs> pattern in which a system operates. So, um, and like the algorithm for the Amazon bestseller is based on categories. It's based on that. And that's really where the number numbers come from. It's the, the categories that you choose are what keep you. It's like, going. You, yeah. So it's kind of like a Rubik's cube. If you know yeah. which way to and turn I've it. I've never been able to solve one of those. <laughs> if you know which way to turn it. Yes. And you know which colors to, to match first and you go in the exact right order. You can solve the Rubik's cube. Yeah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let all, I'm gonna let you have all that. Oh, I was done. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Thought you were going somewhere else. I was just waiting. Okay, we may we we come back to the Rubik's cube in a few minutes. Keep going. Okay, with all your brilliance. The Amazon ranking is actually done. It's updated hourly. So what you end up when inevitably what you end up having is you release it on social media, you get X amount of people to go and purchase the book, 
and then you get screenshotted and that's pretty much typically nine times out of ten is going to be the only accreditation you get because the credibility or whatever because it's it's going to go away <laughs> right. quickly it's fleeting yes 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 yeah so how many categories does amazon have you said that you it depends on the category yeah, over 500 yeah and they are some very odd categories if you ever look into that it is that's probably bizarre. more paint colors than sherwin williams has yeah yeah. Well, yeah. See, yeah and see and you have to look at it there's the the competition of you know like marketing and entrepreneurship is going to get more categories based on those books as opposed to building a boat right then when you do publish on Amazon, Amazon allows you to choose the category you book tracks in. Yes. So if you don't choose the right category, yeah. it's like choosing the wrong color when you're solving the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. yeah. And then it also has to do with price. Yeah. Let's, I really want to kind of pinpoint and talk about that. And we have shared things. And this is not to bash anyone's method. This is no. not to uh, minimize the fact that you have written a book and you do want to become a bestseller, but it's just the truth about it. Um, what the price? What would yeah. you say? What would you say typically a best selling book um, on Amazon would, what, what would you price that as? Um, like your book. Let's say, let's say you've written a book anywhere from 15 to $20. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's what, that's what you would, you would think that most Depends people, on how big it is. Yeah. most people go within that price range. A lot of people, however, to achieve mm -hmm. that best selling, that, that sticker, right. the sticker on your book or the sticker, the little orange ribbon that goes on Amazon, they sell it for 99 cents. 99 cents. Of course they do go up. They will increase the price once the hour is up because right. you, know, you, you can't really hide the spot. Hour yeah. and you get everybody to order and they order it for 99 cents. You get your sticker for a whole hour and then they update it. You lose your sticker and I hope you got a screenshot. Yes. Please get that screenshot within that hour to make and, sure. And look, there's a system and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with being an Amazon bestselling author. There's nothing wrong with going through that process. And if you want to sell that book for 99 cents, that's fine. Right. I'm not ever going to sell my book for 99 cents because I, I have worked work. too yeah. hard on it. Now it, you know, it, I don't know. This is not to take away from anybody who's gone through that process. We just want to shed light on it and make sure that, that you're approaching it with the right perspective. Right. Yeah. Well, great. Good job. I like that. Good Thank job. you. Good job. So I Googled, so for fun, I Googled. Of course you um, did. <laughs> but I did some research. Everybody go figure that out. Dr. Charlie did some research. And uh, if you Google best-selling um, practices, best-selling, you know, how to be a bestseller, or what does it mean to be a bestseller? There's like six, 365 million mm. hits. Yeah, that's a lot of people wanting that's to do it. That's 365 million opportunities for you to learn the process. So give us 10 minutes. We'll, we, we got you, right? <laughs> we got you. And it doesn't mean that we can't do that. It right. doesn't mean that you can't do that. We just want to make sure it's like, it's like Thanksgiving when you can choose to eat the pie or you can choose to pass the pie up. You know, the pie is not good for you. Yeah. You know that the pie is going to end up. My mama used to say a moment on the lips is forever on the hips. Um, she said what? A moment on the lips Got it. Okay. is forever on the hips. Yes. Thank you, mama. Uh, <laughs> she said it a lot, y'all. But it, it's, you know, that technically that pie is not good for you, but you make a choice. You want to do it. You want to say, I ate that pie. That was so good. Okay. So it's okay. Wow. If, if you want to be a best-selling Amazon author, there's nothing yes. wrong with it. Nothing it's just all. a choice, but we want you to make an informed choice. We want you to know how many fat grams, how many calories, carbs, carbs, sugar, stop, <laughs> are in that pie, a piece of pie. Good, Good morning, morning, Gen Z. <laughs> oh my gosh. We didn't even practice that. No. Yeah. She's in my head. <laughs> That could be a good thing or it could be a scary thing. All right. So it's, it's, but it's similar to that. Yeah. You know, and 
so you found a piece of information that Amazon has over 33 million books being sold on their platform. Yeah, that's a lot. 33 million. So therefore, how cheap, how low you got to go in order to get the best selling yeah. author status. I just, it hurts my heart to think that that would be one of our authors. Yeah. Experiences. Focuses. Yeah. Uh, experience. Yeah. Perspective. Yeah. Because that that's not what you're writing that boat for. Look, okay. can I, before we even go into it, can I segue on the piece of information, the little stories that um, we yeah, kind of shared? Okay. Okay. So, so I wasn't the only one doing research. Yes. I love to. Y'all hear me. She's rubbing off on me. I love research too. So as we were um, doing, uh, preparing for this show, I was just looking up information just to kind of, you know, have some some credibility behind it to, to really give some valid points from what every, you know, other people have shared. So there was a guy that and he's actually been a number one bestseller in a New, New York bestseller. Um, but he actually wanted to go into the reason why people wanted to become a bestseller on Amazon and how easy it was. So he had a book. He literally took a picture of his foot. And he put the foot image on Amazon. He used his, he selected his categories. He went through the, went through the strategy behind becoming a number one bestseller. Um, and he actually um, earned becoming a bestseller. The, t the book was titled how to put your foot down or putting my foot down. And there were three sales. Two of them were his. And one of him, one of them was his business partners. So it really Debunked but a lot of the myths, but he was a bestseller. He was an Amazon bestseller. Since then, he has revised the book and <laughs> he shares about the experience of becoming a number one bestseller by putting a picture of his foot on Amazon. So there you have it. And I will tell you another story. Um, and it was from a speaker and I actually love, I love everything that he does. And I can't even think of, look, can't even think of his name at the time. Um, but he went and he was, who was my guy that did the 20, uh, the three weeks? <sighs> I don't know. Ah, his name will come to me. But he was giving a, t a speech and he had just written his first book and they were at church on Sunday and his um, someone came and they were like, oh, I see you. You know, you're a number one bestseller on Amazon. And he's like, yeah, but I only sold six books. And his wife jabbed him in the in the ribs because he had only sold six books. So his name is Ed Rush. So if anything, Ed Rush is absolutely amazing. So um, there's a book, book plug for him. Um, he has several resources available on Amazon. Um, but really, it, there, he seen that there was no credibility in, in being a bestseller because he had legit only sold six books. However, that being said, read Ed Rush. He will give you a yes. rush. Yes, he's absolutely phenomenal. Awesome writer. Yes. So He's one of my favorites. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, so there, so there's a strategy behind becoming a number one bestseller on Amazon, but it, it's not, it's not as big as what people make it because you're, you're literally, there's so many number one bestsellers. It's like, there's no competition. Like your only competition should be you and you need to focus on the, the after effects because after that initial high of receiving that ribbon, I mean, what, what are you going to do after that? Like you've got to really plan ahead and market yourself and not just leave it to becoming a number one bestseller on Amazon. Okay. So, so there are technically five ways yes, to yes. become a bestseller. So yes. what are they? So you reach the number one spot in any Amazon category. Again, it can be boat building, um, marketing and entrepreneurship. A lot of people choose those topics. So it's not as easy to become number one bestseller in those unless your book is free or for 99 cents. Hi, Kim Lots on Hello, Instagram. Um, so, yeah, you will not. Yeah, you can. That you makes can. me think of a boat my mama got my daddy once for Christmas. Really? Yeah. In the, in the season. He the always day. said, I don't want a 50 foot yacht. I really want a 50 foot yacht. So he opened up a box at Christmas one oh morning and it was this little bitty plastic boat. Yeah. And it had 50 human feet on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, yacht. I love it. Look, it took me a moment, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, my sick sense of humor was genetic. <laughs> hey, hey, whatever works. 
But well, and that's if you really look at it, that's kind of like the concept that becoming a best selling Amazon. That's why I told my story. I was just I was just clarifying for those that, that didn't that may not have known what that where, where you're going with that. Thanks. Pat me on the back for getting it because like I was there with you in that moment. Okay. I'm gonna pat you on the back for knowing who Desi Arnaz was. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So if y'all have watched us, you know that I historically leave this show feeling very old, but today not so much. That means that I'm getting older then. No? That's right. Okay. Wisdom, <laughs> wisdom. I'm receiving more wisdom uh -huh. by being in your presence. The older you get, the more you quote that. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Number two, <laughs> reach number one in the Kindle store. So typically even with Kindle, um, you can give that away for free. So you mm -hmm. are like, and we've shared before, you're not the best seller. You're the best giver because giver. you're giving it away. Um, which there's nothing wrong with that. Again, again, marketing, get it. We get That's it. your choice. It's your book. When you yeah. self publish, you own it. Yes. So you can do whatever you want to with it, but don't expect a royalty check that, that month, that window right. of time that you sell it. Right. It's, it's free. All right. Number three, Reach number one in Amazon books. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's legit. Yeah, I mean, legit. maybe you have 10,000 followers who really want to buy your book. Yeah. Go That's for it. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But then do not sell it for 99 cents. You may want to increase that price. Yeah. Better chances of a, an increased royalty check. Okay. Right. Number four be in the top 20 most sold for the week. So it can, it's updated hourly, but it can go for the week. And there have been books that for multiple weeks in a row have been number one, but their book is 99 cents. Now, if you use social media to your advantage and you really market when your book is going to be released and like you become literally the presence anyone sees on social media and you can pinpoint it at just the right time and it can release at just the right time and everybody can buy it at just the right time. That's probably doable. It depends on your marketing strategy. Just a side tip for those that are looking to achieve that Tuesdays are the best days to release your book. Just so you know, not that I advise yeah. it, but there it is. Okay. The last one, go ahead and share that one. And then Be we'll in go. the top 20 most read for the week. Okay. Oh, there you go. How do they know if somebody fully read it? I have no idea. I don't know. That's a great question. So that one, I would probably scratch that one out because. I'm sorry. I would have know. to question their algorithm yeah. on that one. Yeah. As a former English teacher, I have many, <laughs> many students who have said that they have completed a novel and they did not. As a mother. Oh, yeah. I have said my, my kids have said that they yeah. have read an entire book and they did not. However, I will also state that those same English students also believed that I had read every book in the library. <laughs> Wait, you haven't? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I used to go, I don't know. They used to say, Have you read every book in the library? And I would say, Well, what do you think? Oh my gosh, she has. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just let it go. Let it go. So if okay. any of her English students are, are watching, watching right now, you know, the you, truth. Know, you know the truth. Since yeah. then she may have, but at that time yep. she didn't. Okay. All right. So I, I just, it, this just hurts my heart a little bit. Okay. Tell me why. Because I feel like a lot of writers have been misled. I, I believe that they have. Yes. Again, there's nothing wrong with being a best-selling author. Nothing. Absolutely all. nothing. Nothing at all. But is that really why you write a book? Right. Is, I, I'm not writing a book to be a best-selling author. I don't. Um, I'm writing a book because there's somebody out there who may need yes. what I have to say. I want to prevent someone from making some of the mistakes that I've made. Or for some people, it may be, I want to help people be successful. Yes. Like I've been successful because it feels great. And I want people to feel great. Oh, Charlie Phillips, there's going to be a test. Yes, <laughs> Jancy Proctor. I'm sure there is going to be a test. Yes. Okay. So Let's it, it just myths. hurts my heart. Okay. Let's, okay we've got to get, yes, we've got to, we can, we can, yeah, we can go there in a minute, but All I right. really want to, 
because a lot of people, like you said, the, the writers, they have been misled and misguided by a lot of people that can, I mean, we even have a course, you know, how to become a best selling author, but that's not the whole objective. So let's, let's debunk some of these myths. Okay. Go ahead. When you become a best selling author, your business automatically grows. Ah, wrong. It doesn't. <laughs> It does not say so no business yeah. professor ever. Okay. <laughs> no. Now, when you publish a book, your business can begin to grow. Yes. But becoming an Amazon bestselling author is not going to make your business grow. Yes, absolutely not. Okay. To become a bestseller, you have to sell hundreds or thousands of books over a long period of time. False. You don't. The guy with the Said foot, the foot guy, the foot guy, and I don't even know his name, but I'm, I'm definitely going to be able to um, share that because I think it was absolutely. That's awesome. a story you'll yeah, never like, forget. Yeah, right. Not. Okay. And then another myth is the only time you can become a bestseller is when you initially publish your book. Yeah, Cause you can always relaunch. You can always relaunch. Right. Yeah. Said the guy who invented the toothpick in like 1600 and then in the year, you know, 1912, he said, Hey, I invented a toothpick and everybody bought it. Seriously. You knew that fact. I, I really? was making that up. Oh, but it's okay. I really went with it because I believe that you read I'm everything. a writer. I'm oh, okay. creative. You were so awesome. Okay. <sighs> okay. So then another, for, myth. another myth is for your book to have a positive impact on your business, you have to continue selling lots. Yeah. That's basically a repetitive. Mm -hmm. So let me go to the next one. The Amazon bestseller status is synonymous with being an actual bestseller. We've shared that as well. It mm -hmm. is not because you right. literally only have to sell three copies, two for yourself and one for a business partner to become a bestseller. So Absolutely. Okay. This is a big one. The this measure of your book. I'm sorry. Yeah. It is, is a measure of your book's success. This is the biggest, Absolutely not. biggest one. Okay. So Jen C. Proctor is on Facebook right now. She's one of the authors that we've had the privilege of working with. And multiple times. Multiple times. Jen C. writes from her heart and from the depth of scripture and the things that God has taught her. And when, and, and she's very transparent and very real and authentic in what she writes. Absolutely. I would learn more than that when I am from a fluff and stuff author who just happened to be on the bestseller list. Mm, and I don't know, good. Jen C, if you've ever been on the bestseller list, you certainly deserve it. But the bottom line is I would learn more from someone who has a really solid, really salient, imperative message for my personal growth than I would somebody who had an art sticker from a corporate entity. Yeah. So there's that. My over. Can you say Mike amen? Can I amen. have an amen? Amen. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. And that is the biggest one. And then even, you know, becoming a bestseller means, you know, means that you get fame. You're not the same, the same people that probably purchased the book, that those are going to be the only people that really still know you. Yes. Your book may come up on Amazon, um, you might be infamous. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, <laughs> Self-proclaimed. Right. I'm, I'm a legend in my own mind. Yeah. That was a quote from the eighties. I don't know who said that, you know? Uh, yeah. And yeah, you know, yeah. we have other authors, Kim Watts is on and she writes for the same reason that I really don't think we work with many authors who no. they, they contact us and say, I'm going to be a best selling author. So well, let's get let's, started now. Well, let me tell you, there have been some, and Darren, um, our wonderful, amazing chief book officer, has been able to share with them the reasons yep. why that shouldn't be your route when it comes to marketing. Um, You're an amazing suck up. Am I? Yeah. It's close to Christmas. So That's I'm just, true. I'm working my angles here. I guess, yeah, you are married to him. Okay, go ahead. Don't tell everybody. Oh. Okay, I'll just say you're <laughs> sleeping with him. Oh, wait, wait a minute now. Wait, Paul, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> That is another. She has a license. Day. Okay. So anyway, are you blushing? <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all this holy moly coffee was going to bring it out. Look, she didn't bring us any back. She didn't bring me or the amazing producer any back, but she just wanted to be on her own level. So that's okay. We'll forgive you. 
or uh, giving you grace. Anyway, the chief <laughs> book officer says. Yes. Yeah, so he, he. Did you get she, distracted? Yes. Yeah, because you talked about me sleeping with my boss. <laughs> you said it, not me. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all, this is just too fun. Okay, so let's let's get back and let's get focused. So yes, Darren has during the strategy call during initial initial consultations. We always share that. I even had an author um, this week that, that, you know, that's one of their goals as well to become a number one bestseller. Like I say, there's nothing wrong with it, but literally there, it, it doesn't take, it doesn't take a lot to become a bestseller. So right. it doesn't add or take away from your book no, at right. all. It's so, a great goal. Yes, it is. It's as, an absolute great goal. But it shouldn't be the primary goal. It should not. So now can we talk about my heart? Yes, we'll, we'll go there. Let's give you a moment. Okay, the moment's up. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I was waiting. Y'all, I follow instructions very well. Okay, that is up for question, but we'll let you have this moment. Everything is relative anyway <laughs> about my heart. Yes. So, yeah, yes. my heart really is for authors. You know, I don't want you to be misled. I don't want you to have the wrong, your, your goals and the wrong priority. Again, nothing wrong with being a best-selling author. In fact, I hope everyone can become a best-selling author. But I would rather ask you, why are you writing this book? Yes. What What's your purpose? That's what we talk about that time. All the, uh, little, little, I can't even talk. It's the holy moly coffee. All right. We talk to authors about this all the time when we're coaching them in the early stages of their book. What is your purpose? It's not just who is your audience. What are you trying to achieve? Yes. Um, and, and in that, inevitably, we always get, I want to help somebody. I want to reach people in my industry. I want to share the truth or debunk and demyth and all this stuff. And so when people are trying to do that as an author, then they have the right perspective. Yes. But my heart hurts when people come in with the wrong perspective because they're setting themselves up for failure and disappointment when they could achieve great success if the perspective was just yes, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, now my heart feels better. Okay. We're so glad your heart feels better. I know and, it's all about you, my heart, y'all. Yeah. Yes. And she shared a lot of truth in that because you will have people, um, you know, or you'll have writers come in or authors, you know, finish and, they get discouraged because they are not bestsellers. And that is not, that is not the ultimate goal. Writing a book is an achievement all by itself. It doesn't matter if you sell 10 copies or 10,000. The fact that you spent the time, the dedication, the investment on, on the time and whatever you invested to, to write that book, that that's the, that's, that's what it's all about. That's right. Whether whether or not you get a ribbon from Jeff Bezos or whatever his name is that his name Jeff Bezos, Bezos? yeah so whether whether you get a ribbon from him or not you wrote the book hey Shauna hey Shauna um so so that's that's really our message so it's not to encourage or discourage you from becoming a bestseller it's the fact that you need to have more on more on your mind than than actually becoming the bestseller that should not be the number one reason why you write the book. And if you don't become the number one bestseller, do not be scourged because you've, you've actually accomplished something that a lot of people say that they want to do, but, but never really do. Right. And there are many venues where when you self publish a book that you may be selling your book that is not going to be reported by Amazon. Right. Amazon is a great one company. Platform. It is one platform. It is, they offer some great services as far as Kindle direct publishing. But again, there are so many places that you can sell your book. Yeah. I have a friend who has been on a podcast before with our chief book officer. Her name is Jeanette Golden. And she wrote an autobiography about her childhood and the, the abuse that she went through. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't worry about Amazon and who's buying and who's publishing and who's reviewing. But she takes that book and she hands it out to as many people as she can. And she really doesn't sell it very often. She's giving it as a testimony. She's giving it as a powerful story that could help someone else heal. Right. And that's her goal. Right. That is 
to me, that's a bestseller. Yes. And then I will also say too, um, and my thoughts left me. Um, it's not even like, well, I don't know what I was going to say. I'll let you pick it back. I don't know. You know, we have another author that just got published. Her name is Thelma Collins, Thelma yes. Perkins Collins from the Delta of Mississippi. And Thelma has an amazing story. Wow. She was the first female and first African-American mayor of her town in the Delta of Mississippi. And her story goes from where she was picking cotton as a child mm. and how she got an, a master's in education and she was a teacher. And then she became the mayor for multiple terms in her town. Amazing story. But again, it's not about money for her. Her money was about the message right. that her book had and that you can achieve what, you know, got whatever God's called you to achieve because he's called you to do it so you can do it. And that was her message. And she intentionally did not price her book extremely expensive because her goal was not to make money. Her goal was to share a message. Right. And I like what you said. It's, it's the message over the money. So it's not about the, it's the impact Ooh, over the There's income. a phrase. Yeah. Somebody repeat that yeah. for us. It's the message over the money. Yeah. And impact yeah. over income. But I, and I want to talk about it too, because even as we, you know, as we work with authors, um, we do want them to be successful, not necessarily with book sales, but with the opportunities that the book presents. Right. Networking. So, yeah. And so, like that. so, and we've had a lot of authors come in that, that are not number one bestsellers, but they have actually sold a lot of books like you shared on their own. They have, you know, they, they purchase the books and then they, they distribute them how they choose to do so. Like you said, with your friend Jeanette, you know, she's able to give them away, but you never know what opportunities you will be able to, that will be presented to you by sharing the book, as opposed to having it on a platform and while we're even there, a lot of times with Amazon, you do not know who buys your book. Point blank. You do not know. So you're not able to follow up with them. You're not able to do anything as far as creating a business relationship or establishing anything unless they actually just leave you a review on Amazon. You're not going to know that, that they even right. purchased your book for the 99 cents or the 14.95 or the $20, you're, you're just not going to have any clue. So that's why we discourage authors from, you know, focusing and selling strictly on Amazon for the, for the purpose of being able to connect with the people that are supporting you. Right. Right. So that's, that, that was my thought that left me. So it came back. <laughs> I think there's a song about that. Anyway, I'm not going to sing. All right. So, uh, we hope that you guys have gleaned something from this today. Again, we weren't trying to bash anything or Absolutely anybody. Not. We're just trying to look at something squarely in the face and give some truths about it. And also as writers, we hope that we've helped you come to some clarity and perspective on your purpose for writing and what it can do for you and maybe what it's not going to do for you if you have any misunderstandings about that. So yes. um, do you have any follow up thoughts? Yes. So for those that are thinking about writing a book that want to create that goal for 2021 as the, the year 2020 well, it's that uh, time, ends, isn't it, it is, it goal is. So, so if you Ooh. have the goal of writing a book and maybe you haven't gotten started, you just have an idea. We would love to connect with you. We would love to uh, support you and walk with you on that journey of becoming an author. Um, so, so definitely reach out to us. You can reach out by, you know, self publish um, in 30 days at gmail.com. You can go to our website, self publish the letter in 30 days.com receive the free ebook that will be able to assist you with creating an outline and getting started and then set up a, set up a call with one of the members of the team so that we can walk. I believe that on that same website, you can also see more dynamic episodes of writer's you therapy. You can so see right? more episodes so. of, of writer's <laughs> therapy. Just in case, you know, just a plug for yeah. us yeah. because we have yeah. so much fun. We want to be validated. Yeah. We, we need to kidding. be validated. No, yes. just kidding. No. We don't. No. We do not do this for the validation. We do it to add we, value. So. Absolutely. We want to validate you. We want to add value to you. Well, we hope that you have had a great time with us. We've had a great time with you and we will see you next week on Writer's Therapy. I am Dr. Charlie, the book mama. Stephanie Palmer, the grammar queen. Write well. Just write well. Yes.